injured by cat. Hey, stop. Let me talk to the camera. Want me to pick you up? You're my buddy. You're my buddy. Let me pick you up. All right, all right, is that better? Okay, all right. Now, unless you're going to let me pick you up, no biting, no scratching. Let me talk. I gotta say hello to Bicepticon land. You wanna say hello to Bicep land? Huh? Oh, don't you get my hand. I don't even have pockets. Whoo! Please don't. Hey guys, let on RickLandArden.com and of course the house of biceps. <laughs>
and my trap has just got to get better. It's got to get better. Uh, every single set that I picked up on this, even with just the empty bar, uh, I had tremendous amount of pain all through my trap, shot down through my arm. So, um, you know, when it came down to this set, I didn't, I didn't make a serious, honest attempt uh, at a heavy weight. As soon as I went to pick it up, uh, just pressing against the bar, I felt pain. Once you're already feeling pain um, and your mind's out of it, you might as well quit. So this is me stopping for today. Sun is already down, believe it or not. Um, I'm gonna go put my stone sleeves on, play with some stones, guys. All right, guys, this is the moment of truth. Uh, this is where I am not too macho enough to admit that I'm afraid. Um, you know, I'm not as fast as I used to be. And uh, last week I had all this area cleaned up, the grass and stuff. And uh, when they cleaned it up, they found some snakes from under here come running out. Um, so I'm not a snake fan. They warned me to be careful. They don't know if they got all of them. So um, if I grab a stone and a snake, I'm going to get rich off this video if I live because there might be poisonous. We've got two kinds here. One's poisonous and one's not. That's if there's a third kind, a, non, a non, or double non-poisonous or a double double poisonous. But uh, let's see. There's that lack. Come on. Make it work. Uh. You want to be good at stones, you got to put in the work. By put in the work, I mean my job so I can make enough money to buy some more tacky because I'm almost out. Been training here 12 years. Went through about four jars of tacky in 12 years. Last six months, I've been through three jars. And I'm out, gotta find some fast. Got any suggestions, let me know. We just gotta be here in two weeks. something almost wiped out the camera Oh, me. You needed that today. You need it. Oh. All right, guys, that is stones for today. I am more than happy with what I'm walking away with here today. Uh, these are stone holds at the knees, pauses at the knees. Uh, absolute killers on the lats and the biceps. Really, anything that is weak, if your hamstrings are weak, uh, this will point that out. 
It also gives you a moment while you're holding it there for you or your training partners to tell you what's going on, what mistakes you're doing, uh, your positioning mistakes. Um, I can tell three or four things that I'm doing wrong just by watching the video in between sets. Uh, this is a great test. My plan was just to use the 230 uh, you know, for a set of three and, and that be it, but it felt really good. I went to the next set with a 245 because I didn't touch it last week. I accidentally skipped over it last week. So this week, skipped over that mangy, ugly 265, went straight to the 285, which is one of my favorite stones out here. Um, getting three paused reps and a load with the 285 at the end of all that is a good sign that I'm ready to be able to continuously play with the 310 uh, and continuously, occasionally, be able to pick up the 345 and this is one step closer to progress and a nail on the 365 and of course my goal on down the road I'm getting closer and closer um, guys each and every week I keep talking more and more about Atlas stone training than I do anything else my progress my thoughts uh, my emotions on the event the big reason for that is Atlas stones were my favorite event since day one and 15 years later, they're still my favorite event. Part of that is I've got really long arms. It makes it great for stone loading. Um, I've always loved training hamstrings and back. Uh, I don't know if I necessarily have a strong hamstring and back area, but I've always loved training them since the first time I ever did back and hamstrings in the gym. So I developed that. Um, I'm you, at least used to be decently athletic and Atlas Stones kind of puts everything together. Um, on a personal note, you know, I remember loading a 500 pound Atlas stone. I remember loading a 462 as a fifth stone in competition at the very end of a day. Um, you know, I've, I've done some crazy things with, with Atlas stones in my time, uh, but I've also come out here before um, at different points in my life struggling with health issues and I couldn't get my 165 pound stone off the ground um, and, I, and I remember that day distinctly looking at it and it was just nailed to the ground so um, you know here I am you know pretty much a year back into stone training um, today once again was the best day that I've had in Atlas stones in more than a year um, it's progress non-stop and I can't say enough about that now I do think Atlas Stone training is very, very important. I think it can be important, not only for the strong man, but for every athlete. The Atlas Stones has a very unique uh, combination of abilities in the fact that it does build pretty much every muscle in the body. It can, listen to that word, can help to build pretty much every other exercise. Uh, your squat, your deadlift, rows, bench press, um, even your weightlifting exercises, it can build this. The downside is if you don't program it correctly, if you don't program it correctly, it will eat you alive and send you straight into overtrainingville within a couple of weeks. You're going to have bouts of the itis. You're going to be beat up, broke down, terribly sore, and everything is going to go downhill if you're not programming your stone training properly. Which leaves me ecstatic because not only my stones going up, but so is everything else in training. Well, all right, guys, I've got two more events that I really want to take a shot at. So I'm going to close everything down, put these stones away, get my hands cleaned up, get inside and get some more stuff done. <laughs>
another fun Sunday wrapped up. I'm not doing any accessory work because uh, I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna let my lats rest, my biceps rest, uh, my triceps do. Actually no that's not the reason. Uh, I'm running late and my wife is at home with Luke who is crying and uh, she needs some relief and I'm late so I'm getting out of here. I'm gonna do some accessories with bands later tonight as well as tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to let my body recover, hamstrings, lats, biceps, shoulders, uh, this whole next week. Pretty much very similar to last week. Same road, different car going down that road. Uh, the goal is to get to the exact same path going down the exact same road. But I'm going to take a slightly different vehicle to get there. Uh, not put as much wear and tear on the same vehicle as I have been. So uh, success today. Uh, super yoke, I had a success before I had a failure. Stones, huge success. Log press, big success. That puts me on target for a solid 130 kilo, 286 freedom unit log press. Uh, should be in the bag. And the deadlift, that was 506 plus 70 in chains for five. That totals out to somewhere around 670, 675 for a single. And that straps down. Um, Felt my lap pulling, felt my pec pulling. Uh, big shout out to Roger, a former client of mine, sent me a message last week, or maybe it was the week before, told me to pay special attention to my fifth rib. Could have some issues going on with my fifth rib, uh, just because he's been watching my videos and noticing that I'm having some issues. I knew that, I knew about the, I, that made sense, total sense, it just took someone else to remind me, hey, go in and do some therapy work on that fifth rib. So, um, did a little bit today before training, still having pain, but it opened things up, allowed me to come in and uh, finish training today. I'm going to keep specializing on the therapy on this arm. I know I've got some itis and injuries that are continuing with this arm, but I'm also continuing to train and continuing to get stronger. And the more work that I do, the better that it feels. Um, it's not like I'm doing nothing and the pain's getting worse. I'm doing more and the pain is staying the same or getting slightly better. So I consider that a win. Anyway, guys, I'm getting out of the gym before I get beaten by my wife. I'm going to go home, spend some quality time with my young lady, with my bride, uh, as well as my boys. And then several hours of work tonight. Can't wait to see what my clients have brought me tonight on the computer. Bicepticons, gonna be a big week. See you Wednesday, guys.